Okay, uh, let us um, we'll quickly demonstrate to you then in this uh, clip on how to add a big blue button interactive session. Okay, so remember we have already turned our editing on, so now we are clicking on add activity resource and you remember we are going for activity so we can pick it straight away big blue button okay i'll be looking at the key settings okay perhaps the first key setting which is really necessary is to to indicate the room name and perhaps i'll say um setting uh, big blue button um, sessions as the name of the session and then very important as well um, the description you shouldn't leave it blank because you need to give students a glimpse of what they can look forward to during that session so many a times uh, the facilitators will leave this one blank and then they just say this this a session but it's, it's necessary that you just give students a short glimpse of what they can expect what they can look forward to okay so i'll say uh perhaps i'll say during this session uh we shall be looking at the following okay and maybe let's say um the significance of maybe importance of um, synchro, synchronous video sessions. Okay, it might be um, big blue button setting parameters. Okay, so at least you must give students something that they should be looking forward to. Now we proceed with the rest of the settings. Okay, so in the room settings, you will find these options. Wait for moderator means if you set it up as such, students who have to wait for moderator before they can enter the room, which is you can set up a welcome message as well. Um, but for this demo, I would I wouldn't go that route. But it's, it's quite simple. You if you wish to do it that way, you can just uh, check it here and then yeah. The session may be recorded very important if you wish to record the session you will leave this one checked okay if you want to check it your session will not be able to be recorded okay recording view is not necessary now because this is just the first session we are setting up supposedly so we don't have any session recorded previously now lock settings is also not necessary um uh, you can disable webcam but on our system on our server these are already disabled but on your own server, maybe if they are left optional, you can choose to disable the webcams and disable microphones, especially microphones, perhaps you want to disable all the microphones on entry, private chats and so on and so on, if necessary. Or what it means, say if you check it, that means you disable the webcam, you disable the video, or you disable people to have microphones immediately, right? So on the on the role assigned during the live session by default you the one as a teacher setting up the activity will be a moderator and the rest will be viewers but let's say for any for instance you wish to be two moderating this session so you can pick another person i will pick my colleague who will be moderating suppose three with me and i'll just click add and then i'll change this variable to moderator so if you are more than two moderators, you can then add the next moderator in the same session. All right. Now we move to session timing. You need to enable it before you can set it. Okay. Take note. You by default is disabled, so you need to enable it. And let's say, um, yeah, well, let's say this is a time when we want the session to start. And take note this is not closing this is the opening of the session if you wish to close it you can also enable when you want it to close but it's always not necessary to enable the closing so in most cases we just leave it to the opening 
Right, so the rest of the settings is such as common module settings you, you leave on default at the moment. And you just save, I'll save and display because I want us to look at what is next then. Okay, now when the time arrive for the session to start, this is what will happen. Your student will see this option just as yourself will be seeing this option of join session. Okay, so you click on join session and then once you click on join session you just wait uh, for a few moment for the page or big blue button page to load yeah depending on your network resources um yeah, it might take a bit a while or sometimes it can just come straight away if your network bandwidth is really um, it's really good okay the next screen though though taking long to come was just really on how to to get the screen the feel of the screen of how the big blue button session looks like but otherwise the the intention of the clip was to show you around on how to set it up okay so we can as well just pack it here and then we can see in the next video on how to set up the rest of the tools